Welcome to the second year English Unit 5 The Blanket which is written by Floyd Dill. It is part A of the lecture series. Before going to start the lecture I would like to discuss students learning outcomes. On the completion of these units students will be able to recognize that the theme of a text is carried in a thesis statement. Analyze the order of arranging paragraphs, distinguish between what is clearly what is clearly stated and what is implied, read silently with comprehension and extract main idea and supporting details, identify universal themes present in literature across all cultures, read text to make connections between characters, events, motives and causes of conflict in the text across cultures. Distinguish between flexible and inflexible characters. Describe how a character changes over the course of story. Express justifications for change in character. And lastly, identify and use adjective phrases and clauses. The story The Blanket is written by Floyd Dale. He was born in 1887 uh, and died in 1969. Floyd, Floyd James Dale was an American newspaper and magazine editor, literary critic, novelist, playwright, and poet. Dale has been called one of the most influential American men of the letters of the first third of the 20th century, a lifelong poet. He was also a best-selling author as well as playwright whose literature Broadway comedy Little Accident was made into a Hollywood movie in 1928. So, he's a, so he is a famous American writer. Dale wrote extens extensively on controversial social issues of the early 20th century. He played a major part in the political and social movements originating in the New York City's Greenwich Village. during the 1910s and 1920s. As editor of the law left-wing magazine The Masses, Dale was twice put on a trial for publishing subversive literature. Now, before going to start the story, uh, there is a pre-reading that some people sp send their parents to the old house. Why? There are many reasons that the parents who become old, uh, they are sent to the old house. One apparent reason could be that, that there is a poverty, the parents they cannot uh, manage to deal with their parents, they cannot take care of them, so they will send to the old house. There is another reason that the, the person or the father or the uh, main caretaker of the house, if he is married to someone, a girl or a woman, who is not happy with the old man, who cannot take care of the old man, or who is not happy to live with the old man. In this case, that lady will compel the uh, his, her husband to send the old man to the old house. Besides this, is it also varies from culture to culture. If we talk about modern uh, age or modern era, especially in the Europe, so it is very normal for parents to send their children to the baby care center. And while uh, when they become old, the same uh, children, they are sending their parents when they become young, when they become father, when they become uh, middle-aged people, they will send their father when they become old to the old house. Because uh, they say that when we were children, so we were sent uh, to the baby care center. Now when they are old, so we have to send them to the old house, which is governed by the government. So these are two particular reasons. Uh, if we talk about this uh, convention where old people, old parents are sent to the old house, uh, it is not as much common in the eastern countries, especially in Pakistan and other countries which are in eastern side. Because here we have a strong uh, family relationship. We think that in a family, our sister, our brother, our mother, our father, grandfather and grandmother, all of them are important and there is a strong relationship between them. So they take, they, uh, take care of their parents. But there are few examples where 
old parents are sent to the old house or they are sent away from the home now if you talk about the characters of the story the blanket the blanket is a very famous uh, story dealing with the universal theme theme of family we are father um, grandfather and also grandchildren so there is a relationship between them how they manage it is uh, shown very uh, in a good way in this story the blanket the blanket in the story there are four characters the grandfather uh, we do not we do not know his name he is the granddad in the story patty the grandson uh, he is of a uh, few year old and there is dad patty's father uh, we don't know any other name for Petty's father and also there is a new girlfriend of the dead, a fiance of the dead whom he is going to marry. So there are these four characters in the story. Now if we discuss the very few uh, lines of the story, the starting lines, I am going to read and analyze uh, its textual analysis. Petty hadn't really believed that dead would be doing it. Now, the very first sentence uh, creates curiosity. What dad is going to do? Sending granddad away. Oh, we come to know that he is going to send the grandfather away. Away we are. Away was what they call it. Not until now could he believe it of dad. Uh, here it means that when dad has decided that he is going to send his dad I mean the granddad or the grandfather away from the home so these little children petty he is not believing it he is uh, it is out of his mind that we can send our parents to away from our hold from our home but there was the blanket that dad had brought for the him and in the morning he would be going away and this was the last evening that they would have together now as the story uh, emerges we the characters are introduced we come to that uh, come we come to the setting where granddad and uh, his grandson they are sitting they are talking they are thinking uh, the point is that the father who is sending his father away is out of the home he is not at home dad was off seeing the girl that was going to marry him so why he is not at home because he is gone out on a date where he is going to meet the new girlfriend or his new fiance whom he is going to marry he would not be back till late and they couldn't sit up and talk who who are sitting and who are talking it is the two character the grandson and the grandfather they are sitting with each other they are spending time they are spending last evening they are spending last night with each other uh, without the presence of a character the father now if you comment on the story uh, if we comment on the plot of the story so here it is the introduction of the story introduction of the story is we are the writer we are the author uh, introduce the characters so we come across two characters who are present at the moment and two characters who are absent the characters who are present at the moment is petty the grandson and his grandfather so they are uh, spending some time with each other last evening or last night on the other hand there are two characters who are absent who are not uh, right now here in the story uh, they are out. They are out to meet each other. They are out to talk with, with each other. They are out to date with each other. If you talk about plot, so the rising action also starts. What is rising action? Rising action, uh, the conflict which is sending granddad away, sending grandfather away. It is the conflict. It is the basic problem in the story, which Petty doesn't like, which Petty cannot believe. So it is rising action that the story has started now the rising action is that the tomorrow morning the granddad will be sent away it is his last night it is his last evening he is spending time with his family tomorrow he tomorrow evening or tomorrow night he won't be able to see his father he won't be able to uh, talk with them he won't be he won't be able to discuss with them to spend time with them now there are some questions uh, which uh, comes in our mind 
द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वाई डज द फादर इज सेंडिंग ग्रैंडेड अवे वाई वट इज द रीजन हु इज कंपेलिंग हिम वट वट इज द बर्ड ऑफ दिस ग्रैंड फादर वट इज हिज फॉल्ट वाई ही इज सेंडिंग हिम अवे वाई डज ही स्पेंड टाइम विद ग्रैंड डेड ऑन हिज वाई डजन ही स्पेंड टाइम विद ग्रैंड डेड ऑन हिज लास्ट नाइट एट होम एंड क्वेश्चन इज दैट इफ द ग्रैंड इफ द फादर इज गोइंग टू सेंड हिज फादर द ग्रैंड पा ऑफ द हाउस अवे फ्रॉम द होम सो वाई डज नॉट ही स्पेंड अ नाइट विद हिम सेंग दैट इट इज लास्ट नाइट ऑफ माई फादर सो आई शुड बी विद हिम इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस ही इज अवे विद अ न्यू गर्ल who does not want his grandfather or his grandpa to be in the life in their life when they marry with each other so these are basic questions uh, which comes in our mind and with the passage of time when we move on to read the other part of the story we will discuss further thank you so much for this part next in next part part b we will discuss further lines of the story